What's up guys? Kiru Mechagodzilla 2002, I think. Um, saw someone requesting this one a lot in the comments. Just kept seeing this pop up and I was like, what is that? There is so many like versions of Mechagodzilla and Godzilla and all this kind of stuff. It's pretty crazy. So I thought I'd give this one a go. 32 images, where's my other image? Sorry, I should have organized this before starting. Okay, right, so as usual, like androids and robots, they're pretty complicated to draw. Lots of lines, right? So, take your time. I'm on the landscape page. Use a pencil and an eraser, definitely, so you can erase your mistakes, because everyone makes mistakes, including myself. And try and have bit of fun with it so let's go so he's kind of in like a three-quarter head pose right so I guess to start we'll just do the sort of big eye that's here right so it kind of like goes around first a diagonal line and then we bring it down this way and then it goes like so. Cross and up. Glowing red eyes as well. So then we have this pointy sort of brow sort of area, right? That comes down to here. Cuts across kind of his eye. So like that, and then we bring it up into here and then down. And of course there's all these um, lines that kind of break it up to make it look a bit more mechanical. And then another one around the back of that. And it goes across into his eye as well. So we'll get kind of the head plate done and the eyes and then we'll move to the snout. So another pointy kind of section here. And then we have this sort of middle part that sticks up sort of here. To there, and then around, and up to there, and like a fin, and then this has like an edge line, so sort of a, a line that goes down like that, and then it goes around and across. Seems to have another section inside as well. And then another line there. Okay, so on the other side, then we have this kind of eyebrow kind of sticking out here. So it goes out and around, back into here, another line, and then down there. And then you can see just like the side of the head on the other side with another antenna kind of sticking up here. Like so. And then, so the eye on this side comes out and then across into his nose sort of area there. So then his snout comes out from the corner of his eye, like that. And then we go down like this. 
And then we have like a cheek line or something there. There's like a red line that comes down from his eye there. And this antenna goes down to there. So then this snout comes across. And then goes back up to the corner of his eye, like into here. And then we have another line coming down the edge. And then like so. And then something across the top. And then some sort of rectangular box here. sort of triangle there like so All right so then another plate coming down here it kind of steps down like this and then it comes across the top of his teeth and then we have like I don't know like maybe lasers or something shoot out of this like a hole here and then going back this way up to the corner and then another line going from that corner up to there and then another one here and I think there's like an edge line on this and this then has all these lines on it So when you're drawing like anything mechanical, to get it look like mechanical, you gotta like basically break it up. Anything like Iron Man or Mecha Godzilla takes a while. And then he has another laser thing here. Does he have teeth on the top? They look like plates here rather than teeth, like three sections of plates. So we go like big teeth maybe there. And then there's like two sharp ones here. And then we have another plate. that and then sharp teeth along here like that All right so then we have this red line that comes down from the eye like that then this goes out to there. And then he has this fin that kind of comes around, curves around. It's like his ear or something. And then we bring it out to there. Step it up. Out. Step up again. And then back and down into that point there and then this has more lines like so and another one there goes up and then we have this like antenna on, that's on this side sticks up on this side as well so this will go from there about here Down to there, another line out here, here, it goes across like so. And this is like the back of his head. All right, 
pretty complicated. <laughs> Um, then this goes out, back to there, and then three lines back here. So we seem to have like a circular ear plate or something here. Curves around with a circle inside. That looks like a UFO or something. And this has like lines like this on it. And then some more stepped up sort of lines back here. Like so. And then. And then that's... So then the bottom jaw comes out from this hinge sort of area. So this plate comes down back up into there back up into there and then another line inside breaking it up into these boxes right and then the bottom jaw out and then we have like a chin sort of plate here comes across up across there down, across, up. And then this will go into there. Cross for the bottom lip. Down. Cross here. Step it up. Go across. Step it down. Go across. Step it up. Go across. And then we kind of just add an edge or something to these. Like break up these into boxes. All right, so there's like a layer of teeth here and then more jaw and stuff back here. So we do the jaw back here first, the other side of it. Up into there. And then this has kind of like an edge line or something to it here. Like that, and then we'll start adding teeth, right? So sharp metal teeth. There, come across this way. So like the bottom of these teeth would be like here. And then like for a tongue, it's not really a tongue, it's just like a metal bar. So it comes down across like this. And that's kind of all I can see of that. Just because it's all black in here. Right, so then we we'll go down the neck. So back of the neck here, and we have these guns that are on the shoulder, right? So we just do the front of the neck. So we have these plates, right, that come down the center of the neck here. Right, and we have this big gun that's here, so you don't go the whole way. And then this goes down, cross, down, cross. Just adding like another one of these. Things like this. And then another plate kind of here. Right, and so then this has all um, like 
could you call them kind of pipes or tubing or something coming down there and maybe like some extra so the line's just breaking up all this Okay, so we'll, we'll add the guns, right? So we've got these curved edges to this box. It sort of comes down here. Right, like that. And then the top of the gun. Back to there. And then the bottom of the gun. like that right and then there's lots more in this now so this goes down up like so line there and then an edge line for the rim of this gun there and then some cross beams inside for where missiles come out That and then like line there, like an underneath line to there, and then a curve line that goes down to there, and then this steps up, lots of angles now, steps back. Step up like that, and then this goes back across down, and then this has an edge. And then we have another plate on this side. So, and then another box here, with what looks like missiles inside this, so like these tops, like warhead kind of curved lines, like that, and then some corner lines, there. And then the bottom of this comes around. So sorry now for moving too fast, but there's a lot of lines, so I don't want the video to be too long. So I'll just add what I can see, and you just hit pause whenever I do something. Then another circle here. Another one there. And like some extra lines here. A box or something there. And then the back of this there. And then it goes down again. Around like so. And then we go diagonal here. Across. Across this way. Down. And then another line that way. And then there's like a box here. And some shapes inside this. So we give it an edge. It's like another weapon system. Like a rectangle here. Circle here. Big circle here. And then some more sort of lines on the neck.
Okay, so the other gun. Right. Cross, and then we have a box on the front as well. With some details inside. And this will go into here. And then this has a bottom section and another bottom to this, just down like so. All right, so another bottom line there. This comes across here. Rectangle in there. And then the top of this goes in behind his teeth. Two circles there. Right, so then like chest and shoulder armor. So he's got this circular pad, round pad here. And then this will bump down. Down to there. And then his chest comes across, up, and the center line for the chest here. Out. And this line goes up here. And the chest plate comes down and it has like a bolt on it. There, so it's like this can open up. I think it does actually. I think he shoots something out of his chest. You know, if you want like details like scratches and stuff as well. Right, and then this chest comes back this way, down, and then we see like his shoulder armor in here. So it goes up, across, down like that, and it has some bolts, two of them. There. And another level to this sort of comes out down that way this goes down this goes down to there somewhere then another line here there 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 and more plate lines and stuff inside there. And then we have some details inside along his neck, right? So like the back of his neck is like here, kind of bumps down. And then there's another circular shape here. So I guess that's this just viewed from the other side. And then this neck plate goes this way, down, down to there. Give it some sort of edge. And then there's like a pipe that goes around the back of his neck. Another pipe along here, coming along the shoulder. Down that way. This is like some details on it like that. There's something else going there. And there's like a couple of boxes here. And some like spikes here. Another one there, some more tubes. And then the shoulder on this side, so we can just see a little bit of it. Turns out this way, 
down to there. And then a bolt holding the chest plate on that side. Um, and again, it's like as much scratches and texture and stuff as you want. Oh, I forgot another thing in there. Right, but finally, that's it. That's how to draw Kiru Mechagodzilla. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.